Hello, welcome to our presentation today. Today we are going to be talking about our work in progress paper Participatory Design of an Augmented Reality Firewall Game. Hi, I'm Saad Ali Asif. I'm going to be presenting the paper on behalf of my co-authors. So let's start. So our main motivation of this project was to teach middle school children about abstract cybersecurity concepts using interactive and immersive learning measures. Because of the increasing digital presence nowadays, children need to learn about the cybersecurity concepts. There is also a huge need for cybersecurity professionals. From our literature study, we found that augmented reality's immersive and interactive capabilities combined with gamified approaches may lead to increased interest and learning in the children. To accomplish that, we followed an iterative design with close collaboration with five middle school teachers to get their insights about the classroom environment and the game design. We developed an augmented reality firewall game for middle school students to teach them about cybersecurity fundamentals. Why firewalls? It is a good starting point and an integral part of the computer system. What is a firewall? Firewall is a software used to filter data traffic from network and prevent malicious attacks. In our literature study, we saw that augmented reality has been used by the educators, for example, to teach middle school about history and elementary math. For cybersecurity education, there are some games like CyberAware and Sherlock. So we wanted to combine both of these approaches because we thought that immersive and interactive nature of AR combining with gamified approaches would be beneficial for learning. In this project, we followed iterative development and participatory design. In iterative development, we design and continuously improve and evaluate the products. In participatory design, the technology users are called experts and they influence the whole product design process. In our case, the middle school teachers are the expert stakeholders. We conducted several design sprints with the teachers, presenting game ideas and discussed classroom implementation. We took their feedback and incorporated them in our approach. Two examples of key insights that we got from the teacher's feedback to reduce text prompts because the students do not like to read text while playing a game, so we put more emphasis on the visual content. Also, we changed the gameplay, making it cooperative rather than competitive. So, our game has two modes based on teacher suggestions, one team and a two team. In our game, we have physical playing cards to represent data packets. Those cards can represent various things based on the difficulty. The cards can contain shapes, shapes and colors, monsters and files. You can see in the slides. Those cards are then scanned and turned into AR object. There is a sorting mat which determines if the objects will be malicious or not or is block status. So, the rules and policies use and sorting mat are pre-calculated before the iteration. The motivation of the student to play the game is to try to learn what features of the shapes, monsters, or files are blocked by the firewall. The four key ideas are firewalls block things from entering the computer. Firewalls do not block everything. Firewalls can block both good and bad things based on the features. Air should be used to share the idea and pique interest from children. So in our game, we have six levels relating to the concretization of the ideas like shapes, monsters, and files. The students would scan cards, then make predictions, and then they will see the AR animations played in the real world. Here in the table, you can see if their guess is correct and the object was not malicious, they will get a protection score. And if they guess incorrectly and the object is a virus, then their virus score would increase. So when the student reaches a maximum protection score or maximum virus score, the game would be over. If they win, they would get an AR reward object. In the one team format, students try to break the system as a team and try to guess the card that can pass through the firewall. In the two team format, students are divided into an attacker team and a defender team. Attacker team attempts to infiltrate the system by passing objects through the firewall and the defender guesses whether the objects will be blocked or not. The goal of the project is to expose the students to the rules and policies of firewalls and encourage them to think like cybersecurity professionals. So to conclude, what we did was that we built an AR-based firewall game with middle school teachers to raise cybersecurity awareness among the students. We have designed the pre and post tests to assess learning through cognitive interviews and will use these collaborative procedures. We will outline these procedures for future cybersecurity and domain game developments for middle school students. Thank you.